A while back, I actually started a series in my top five videos about five things that each game in the Batman Arkham franchise did best. Now, it's been a little while. I actually forgot I was in the middle of it, and I decided to come back, take a look at night today, and then hopefully in the next couple weeks, I will swing back through, finish off City, and we will be done with that uh, before I forget again. Now, before we jump into this, I do want to quickly, you know, draw attention to a couple things. I have been working very hard to grow my secondary channel, Degenerate Plays, where we play a variety of video games, let's plays in podcast style, hang out and talk and talk with you in the comments. I hope you are willing to check that out. The link is in the description down below. I'm trying to grow that to 7,500 subs by the end of the year and keep that rolling so that maybe eventually we can end up in YouTube recommended over there and actually be bringing in some fresh blood to the community, some new people. So please check that out. I will definitely appreciate it and also if you haven't already taken time to keep up to date this platform does not always notify people when I upload uh, it is just the nature of the beast so I would like to draw your attention to either discord or my Twitter down below in the actual description so I hope to see you there now jumping into this list number five there are many things that arkham knight actually does best in this franchise arkham knight and arkham origins are constantly at odds in the community where people argue between them being usually their least favorite uh, with some people they're their most favorite absolutely but that's just kind of the general community but with arkham knight i think one of the things that absolutely does the best is cosmetics there are so many different cosmetics in this game and you can sort of see the whole list of them here there are quite a few i actually lost a few of mine i for some reason cannot connect to the actual wb servers to get zuranar it never worked for me never has i hope it worked for you everybody says keep trying i do doesn't work uh and my 240 percent save file somehow got corrupted which i had failed to back up so that's apparently my fault and also the fault of my playstation somehow uh but you can look back in old footage i really did have the gold bat suit uh source trust me dude so here's the thing with the cosmetics though they really do add different layers to the gameplay because the cosmetics at least for batman show up in all of his actual cutscenes i mean we see unique unique cutscenes for every single one of these suits. Now, I don't mean that they're absolutely unique and they've been programmed differently, but you see the actual suit in the cutscenes. If you wanna play through with the Dark Knight suit, boom, there you go. You're watching the whole story in the Nolan Dark Knight suit. Maybe you wanna be Keaton from 89, boom, there you go. You're in the Keaton 89 suit, the whole story. There is a lot of replayability to that, especially when you throw in the actual photo mode. It adds a lot of just kind of, you know, fun messing around for Batman fans. So that's definitely a plus. Number four! Play. The next thing that this game did the best, absolutely, was the ability to play as many unique characters. Now, are there things that I think it could have done better with fleshing out move lists, actually adding in maybe more unique combos and mechanics? Yeah, 100%. I don't think all these have enough uh, gadgets, and I don't think all of them have enough unique moves. However, a lot of them do. I mean, looking through the roster, we've got Batman, Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and Azrael. I mean, this roster is packed. And while you can't play as all of them in the story, there are portions of the story where you can play as Nightwing and Robin. They all really do have their own Arkham episodes, although some of them are short. And you can play as any of these characters in any of the DLC challenge maps. So there is a lot of repeat wow replayability some of these words are hard to say guys you don't understand i am not very good at talking but there is a lot of replayability over the course of the game to sort of go back mess around in the challenges as all these different characters again photo mode plays into that as well combining the different skins and you just sort of have a fun little i don't know fun little sandbox for batman fans and fans of the bat family uh, that really does add to the game in a lot of ways. And I think that this is also the one element that even the naysayers are at least somewhat interested to see in Gotham Knights is being able to play as these different characters from the family. Number three. three. Another thing that this game did the absolute best was the Batmobile. Now, hold on, before you get the angry comment ready, I totally understand and I'm with you. I don't love how the Batmobile was implemented in this game. I think it's in it too much. I think it's pushed a little bit too much, and I think that there's a bit of a reliance on it to solve puzzles, especially when it comes to the Riddler. However, the community had been asking to play with the Batmobile, 
And this game does answer that demand. You are able to control the Batmobile. It is in fact really the only game where you're able to do that in the Arkham franchise, thus being the best one where you're able to control the Batmobile by default, but it still counts. This thing does handle fairly well. There are a lot of different gadgets and uses to it. It can even be used for combo finishers when you are on foot, if you are near the thing. You can remote summon it. You can use a remote control to solve puzzles. There is an actual very in-depth system with the Batmobile. And while I might not think it's perfect, while maybe I would do a few things differently, yes, I'm glad it's here. This is the best version of the Batmobile we got to see in the entire franchise without a doubt. Number two. This game does also have something that's going to be a bit contested, but I would say it has the largest world. Now the contest with that, what I think some people are going to argue about is something that I agree with. Biggest doesn't always mean best when it comes to games because you can have massive wide open worlds that are fairly empty. Look at something like Assassin's Creed Unity. It's packed with just random crap that nobody cares about and only certain locations that everybody kind of was like, oh, that's neat. So when you look at game worlds, you don't always want it to be the absolute biggest. You want it to be in depth and interesting. And the thing with Arkham Knight is that while it would have been more interesting to see fewer militia and more actual civilians, uh, versus just another example of why they all got evacuated just on time or weren't on the streets. We do get to see a large majority of Gotham. There are also so many Easter eggs in this world that do bring it to life from Constantine to Zatanna to even, I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at it. You, you even have a green arrow, actually, Oliver Queen, Queen Enterprises or Queen Industries is here. You know, there is a lot that we get to see in this world. I mean, it's not just big, it's also very interesting. And I think that that's great that they were able to do that. Now, while I personally think that Arkham City has a more in-depth world, even though it's somewhat smaller, this world does definitely take the cake for being the biggest, which does actually help even with other elements that we talked about, like the Batmobile traversing around, flying around at high speeds, discovering new things. There's a lot here in this world that does make it interesting and does add to the replayability of Batman Arkham Knight. Number, number one. one. Number, number one, it's number one, number one. Finally, while there were other things we could pick from, I think it's important to point out that this game does absolutely have the best graphics in the franchise, by far. Now, if you're going on PC, obviously they're all going to look better. 100%, uh, even something like Arkham Origins looks absolutely beautiful on PC. But even on PS4, this is probably one of the best looking console games of the last generation, and it came out in 2015. It looks really amazing, and yes, some of the weather effects are used to actually hide certain things in the environment, but they are done so, so well, and they actually add new layers of detail to the world around you, from the water effects, to the way that the cowl looks, to the shadows. Everything here is very interesting and unique looking in its art style. The game is very beautiful. And I think a lot of the characters look very realistic. I know whenever I bring this up, a lot of people in the community, it, it sort of turns into a bit of a civil war. But I think that especially while yes, Bruce Wayne and Hush don't look the best here by any means. A lot of the characters do look very human compared to the other games. You look at Alfred, you look at Poison Ivy, you look at uh, Harley Quinn, uh, even, I don't know, even Penguin. I mean, a lot of these characters look very, very unique and very lifelike in this game, even compared to the other ones in the franchise, because this was sort of hitting the peak of what Rocksteady was capable of at the time. So it comes off as a very beautiful game. It looks fantastic. It plays well. And these are the five things that I think are absolutely the best about Arkham Knight in the series. It did this the best, better than any of the other Arkham games. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are there other things that you think this game did best? Are there things you think that maybe it did worse that you wanna get off your chest? I am interested. Please check out some of the other content I will have on the end screen here. I hope you enjoy it and have a fun time on the channel. If you are one of the 60% that is not yet subscribed to this channel, I hope that today is the day that I was able to earn your subscription and you know have you join in on the fun and festivities, checking out the Twitter and Degenerate Plays, the secondary channel. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, stay shway.